is Jess and welcome to my channel. Okay guys, so for today's video I have two Dollar Tree DIYs to share with you. They are going to be for this Christmas season that is coming soon and they are going to be in a farmhouse style. I really hope that you like it and if you do, you can give me a big thumbs up because that really helps to support my channel. And guys, if you are new here and you like DIYs, home decor, trash to treasure, make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and you hit the bell to get notified every time I upload a new video. Please let me know in the comments which project was your favorite and let's get started to this Dollar Tree DIY. Hola mis amores y bienvenidos a mi canal nuevamente muy contenta de que estés aquí un día más conmigo Y para el video de hoy voy a estar haciendo dos DIYs utilizando materiales de Dollar Tree Y van a ser excelentes para esta temporada ahora que viene de Navidad Y van a ser también al estilo farmhouse que tanto me encanta Y espero de todo corazón que te guste el video de hoy Si es así me puedes dar un bonito like porque le ayuda muchísimo a que este canal siga creciendo Y además a que si tú eres nuevo por aquí y te gustan los DIYs, las decoraciones de hogar o los trash to treasure Asegúrate de que tú estás suscrito a este canal y que tienes esa campanita activada para que tu teléfono te notifique cada vez que yo suba un nuevo video Déjenme saber en los comentarios cuál de estos proyectos fue tu favorito Y vamos a comenzar con el video de hoy Ok guys, to start with the first project, I will use this big Halloween sign from Dollar Tree. I like it a lot because it is large and perfect to make a sign that matches my decoration for this Christmas. In the front side of my sign, it has a lot of glitter in black color in those letters. So I decide to take them out with my sanding sponge just because I don't want to bother me when I'm going to be painting my sign. So I just decide to sand everything. Guys, I want to show you this little vacuum that I have a while ago because it works very, very well for me when I have to clean um, all the mess or this glitter mess that I have in my work area and it's small very practical and pick up the dirty very very well so in the description box of the video I'm going to leave you the link of where you can get it from there I will be covering this two gaps that my sign had with some putty that Dollar Tree also sells I will be painting my sign with my Reveille Shock paint in mineral color. Um, this is one of my favorite colors um, because it is very, very neutral and combines with everything. I will be giving him two paint coats on the front and the back side of my sign to cover everything very well and let it dry. When it is dry, I will be creating three lines to my sign, just where those um those these signs are at the edges of my sign. First, I will use a pencil and a ruler just to draw lines and to guide me to be able to paint them later. I will use my Reveille Shock paint in elephant color. It's like it's like gray color. And with a fine brush, I will be painting these lines. They don't have to look perfect. Um, they can look a bit messy, but it's fine because that way they will look better or more realistic. Also, I'm going to be painting all the edges of my sign and a little inside. Guys, I know that right now it looks a little bit bad. I know that maybe you can have much paint in some areas, but don't worry because once you're finished, you should let it dry very well and you will use a sandpaper or a sand sponge and I will pass it to all my sign. This will remove all the excess paint that you have in the lines you create and it will look super cute and it's going to look maybe like it has this shiblet style. I want to add a nice touch and color to the two corners of my sign, so I decide to use some Utecore, stick it with hot glue on the back side, and then give the sign 
three turns. When you have signs like this that are quite a large, it is okay to give this simple details in the corners just to fill in empty spaces and they are going to look great. Then I decide to create this decal on my Cricut machine that says Farm Fresh Christmas Trees, um, which is very popular on the signs that I've been seen in several stores. So I decide to do it and I'm going to put a transfer paper to this decal and then I'm going to stick it in the center of my sign. If you don't have a Cricut machine, you can also use maybe Dollar Tree stickers or Walmart also has many stickers for one dollar that you can use and it will look beautiful too or do it handwriting or whatever you prefer. To decorate the edges, I found this beautiful white Christmas tree in Dollar Tree and guys, um, I'm not a big fan of glitter but for Christmas I can always make an exception so I'm going to put some hot glue on the back side of this Christmas tree and I'm going to stick it to one side very very close to the youth cord and then the other ornament I'm going to cut it so it looks a little smaller and does not stand out from my sign I'm going to glue it close to the other um, Christmas tree or the other ornament and then I will be doing the same thing with the other side of the sign just hitting two other ornaments with hot glue once you're finishing gluing everything this will be the result of our first project guys I love how this project turned out it looks very neutral and with a farmhouse style and I really love what this Christmas tree looked like, um, just giving this sign more dimension. For my second project, I will be using this butter cookies metal container that I bought at Dollar Tree. These are one of my favorite cookies and I thought that the packaging was perfect for creating a Christmas ornament. So I just need the container, not the lid, and I will be painting it with my metallic silver spray paint. Once it is dry, um, this is how it will look, and I want to create a galvanized look to this um, metal container, so I use paint in dark gray and white. First, I use my Reveille shock paint in elephant color, and with this brush that you can get at Walmart, I'm going to put just a little paint and create stains on the whole container. From there, I will use the color white and repeat the same steps. A small amount of paint on the brush and then create stains on my container. I want to create the appearance of a slotted galvanized ornament so I use a black marker and with a ruler I made straight and broken lines throughout the container including the edges. You can also use maybe black paint but uh, I really think the marker is easier and it's going to look more straight with a ruler. From there, I will use burnt umber color paint and with this sponge, I will create a weather look at the edges of the ornament. I'm going to leave in the description box at the video where you can get these type of sponges that I really love to create these looks. I will also be putting paint on all the lines. This will create more dimension to the slotted look. To help this container is not moving, I'm going to heat a wood block on the back side with some hot glue. Then I will use a napkin ring that you can get at Dollar Tree, um, the package ring I think 6, but you're only going to need one. And I'm going to paint it with the burnt umber color and then let it dry. 
to paste it I will use a small amount of E6000 glue and hot glue and then I'm going to stick it on the top in the center of the ornament. I'm also going to heat a piece of nautical rope inside the napkin ring with hot glue. Just to add a nice touch to this um, project, I will use this detail that this Dollar Tree bell springs. Um, I'm just going to take it out and stick it on the top where the napkin ring is. And guys, this will be all for our last project. It's super easy, super budget friendly. It looks amazing. It, it, it's more like an trash to treasure, but that you can get in Dollar Tree and hey, just eat the cookies and then create something amazing with the container. I am a big fan of this slotted galvanized touch and I will definitely be doing more to decorate this Christmas. Just let me know in the comments if you would like to see that and also let me know which of these projects was your favorite, the first one or the second one? If you like this video, you can give me a big thumbs up and share this video with friends and family. And something very important, guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos. See you this Sunday with my 5 minutes crafting video. Love you so much and have a beautiful day. Bye, guys.